In this video, we're going to introduce the stack component and how the cross sections are treated and how it's a little bit different than a fuselage component. Now, similar to a fuselage component, it's very useful for making body type geometry. So things like fuselages and engines and, and things like that. What's really useful about the stack is it's excellent for putting together whole engine assemblies or outer mold lines to where you know the set distance of each individual component and you want to assemble from the forward back. So the way that this is different than a fuselage is if we go to the different cross sections and let's pick this one back here for example. Rather than positioning a relative X, Y, or Z to say a design length, stack is basically a free design policy by default. So when we talk about shifting or placing our components, we're talking about a delta in X, Y, or Z. And that means that for each following cross section, they have their own shift. So you can position these, however, and it will just build them up as you move aft on the component. So let's look at what happens if we start moving this in X. You'll notice that this section is getting longer, but this entire bit that follows this cross section keeps its own relative or fixed position to this cross section so it moves along with it so we can move in z we can move in y all of this stuff moves around and even with rotations it will rotate now the only one of these that remains as a relative in a per cross section basis is spin because you only want the feature line to be moving around that particular cross section the rest of them stay the same now, as a reminder, if we go to a fuselage and we move this section, we have an X, Y, and Z parameter. So you, unless you're in a free design mode or a loop design mode, you cannot go any further forward or further aft than its preceding or following cross section, and you can only place it relative between those two. So if we were to do the same thing by shifting in, say, Z, this section will come up, but all of the other cross sections with their skinning parameters, with the spin, the rotation, etc., are all going to remain fixed because we have set a design length for this component. On a stack, there is no design length. You are building this thing up from the forward back, so it will be as long as you set it.